Like most PCs, you'll press the delete key before you hear the beep on the computer as it's booting up to enter into the BIOS. First place you'll want to go to is the tool menu and click Internet Flash. This will initialize a uh, internet connection. Check the FTP site at ASRock and see if there's an update for the BIOS. The original BIOS on this was 1.92 but after I flashed it, it is now at version 2.10 listed here. Uh, when you install a new BIOS, it's going to reset everything back to the default. So you want to be, make sure that you do this first and then go in and make your setting changes. After you've updated the BIOS, uh, we're going to skip the OC tweaker. That's overclocking. Uh, this is fast enough. We don't need to overclock it. Uh, and go to the advanced menu. We're going to skip CPU configuration, go to chipset configuration, turn the primary graphics adapter to use the onboard adapter, uh, and we're going to turn on VTD, which uh, increases the performance of virtual machines. Next setting is uh, down at the bottom. We're going to turn Restore AC power loss. I turn that to power on so that if the power goes off in my house uh, and when the power comes back on, the server will turn itself back on because I want mine running 24 seven. Next, we're gonna go to the storage configuration. And here we wanna make sure that uh, the SATA mode selection is set to AHCI. And we're going to set aggressive link power management to enable to save as much power as possible. I'm going to turn smart on. Now down at the bottom, we're going to go to USB configuration. And for legacy USB support, I'm going to set that to UEFI setup only. And we're done on the advanced menu. Now we're going to go to the hardware monitor and the CPU fan one and two setting is normally set to standard mode, which is a little noisy for me. I like it a lot quieter. So I'm going to set this to silent mode and that's really all I need to make a change for here. On the boot menu, I'm going to go to uh, boot beep. I want to turn that on so I hear a beep when it starts up. And uh, I'm going to disable the full screen logo. Uh, when the full screen logo is enabled, it shows AS Rock while it's booting up, and I'd rather just see the Windows log on. And uh, for CSM, which is uh, the compatibility support module, I'm going to disable that to increase the boot speed. Once I've made these changes, I go to Exit, Save Changes and Exit, Answer yes, and the box will reboot.